one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten high income skills that you can sell on Fiverr. These are all skills that realistically can help you make over a thousand dollars per month as a freelancer selling your services on Fiverr. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because not only am I going to tell you what these skills are, but I'm going to break down how you can go about building them up to a $1,000 per month Fiverr income stream. Let's get into it. The first one on this list is virtual assistant. Being a virtual assistant means you're going to help businesses or individuals run and manage their day. Things like managing their calendar, booking appointments, doing data entry, or administering certain business systems that the business uses on a day-to-day -day basis. Cool thing with being a virtual assistant is that the barrier to entry and the requirements are pretty low. So on the surface level, any virtual assistant wanting to work for anyone needs to spend some time asking questions with their potential employer to figure out what that business's day-to-day -day looks like. What are the types of tasks you're gonna be required to do? What are the hours you're gonna be required to work? That's the basics, that's really important. But other than that, you probably wanna spend some time learning how to use and becoming familiar with common business tools that your clients might be using. Collaboration tools like Slack and Notion, a lot of businesses are using those nowadays. It's probably important that you at least have a surface level understanding of how to navigate and communicate through those tools. And then email tools like Outlook and Google G Suite are probably the most common email tools used for booking calendar meetings and sending email communications internally. So you'll want to know how to use both of those too. As far as how much you can make as a virtual assistant or how much you should charge per hour, with the way things are currently going and the fact that most of the people hiring virtual assistants or at least a lot of the virtual assistants I talk to are targeting businesses or business owners in, in America, I'd probably start out my rates at anywhere from 10 to $20 per hour. So based on those rates, if you can lock down clients on retainer for months at a time, it should probably take you between 50 to 100 hours hours per month to make a thousand dollars and that's not too bad the next high income skill that we're gonna be talking about in this video is social media management specifically Instagram social media managers are in high demand there are so many businesses who are implementing social sites like Instagram to help build their brand and in order to build a successful brand or following on a social media platform like Instagram, there are certain best practices you need to follow, mainly posting regularly and also engaging in the comments and building a community through engaging with other accounts. So a lot of businesses outsource this type of work to a social media manager or management company. The requirements and barrier to entry are pretty low. You obviously need to have an understanding of how to use Instagram and you should probably spend some time reading up on some of the best practices and strategies people use to build big followings on sites like Instagram. And the good thing is a lot of that information is available for free on YouTube. Do a Google search. You'll find a ton of information. When it comes to how much you should charge your clients to manage their Instagram account, I would put it in the range of anywhere from $100 to $300 per month. I would bill them per month because in my eyes, that would help you lock down more long-term agreements with, with clients. So if you can lock down you know, 10 clients at $300 per month, now all of a sudden you're making $3,000 per month. That's fantastic. As far as making $1,000 go and how long that would take, based on what I've seen other sellers offering on Fiverr, I think it's pretty realistic to expect to make $1,000 after putting in about 15 solid hours of work managing the various Instagram accounts you're planning on managing through your business. So if you can build this business up and get the clients, that's probably the hardest part. But once you do, making $1,000 I don't think it actually takes that much hours. I think it's pretty lucrative for sure. The third high income skill that can make you a ton of money on Fiverr is book cover design. Now I know book cover design isn't some like new or revolutionary niche on Fiverr. However, there are some sites that have been growing really, really fast in the world of self publishing that I think creates a much bigger opportunity for new book cover artists to get into the market and score some clients. Specifically, sites like Wattpad or Amazon, you know, the Kindle Unlimited store are places where a lot of writers are posting their work. And a lot of these writers have never been published before, don't have 
huge marketing budgets and turn to sites like Fiverr to get their book covers designed. So I think there's a big opportunity there. When it comes to requirements to become a successful book cover designer, now on the very basics, you need to have some form of artistic ability or graphic design talent. If you don't, that's your place to start. Go learn, brush up on the skills, practice, and get to a point where you're confident you can create stuff that people will actually be impressed with. And the second requirement, it involves a little bit of legwork. In the world of book cover designs, there are so many different genres of novelists. Genres authors write novels into, and for the various genres, there's typically different styles of book covers that writers go with. You know, thrillers would be very different than like a romance novel book cover and things like that. I'd probably say that if you're gonna get into de designing book covers for, for people on Fiverr, try to get a good feel for what's trending in the different genres of, of writing, of fiction, and build your skills and your portfolio around the genres you wanna specialize in. I think that'll really help. When it comes to how much you should charge for a book cover, I think anywhere from 10 to $50 is probably a good price range and a reasonable price range that a lot of authors would probably be willing to pay. I know I would. So based on that, to make $1,000 in a month just designing book covers, it should take you anywhere from 30 to 50 hours of work, which is just over a week of work. That's not too shabby. So the fourth high income skill I'm mentioning in this video is one that I'm a huge fan of, and that's email copywriting. So email copywriting is where you would write sales or marketing emails for businesses to help them market or sell their products or services. It's what I do and makes up the majority of my Fiverr business. Now, from a requirement standpoint, there is a bit of legwork, practice, and learning you'll probably need to do before you're gonna be good enough to do this. At the very basic level, you need to be a proficient writer and someone who has the ability to sit down and pump out written work for hours at a time. It's a, it's a tough skill to learn and it comes from practice. Second thing you could do to learn how to become an email copywriter is to take a copywriting course. And lucky for you, there are a ton of free ones on this YouTube channel. So if this is the skill you're interested in, I have a couple of 20, 30, 40 minute long copywriting tutorials and courses that are totally free that you can check out and they have writing exercises to help you get to the point where you're ready to sell your services. So you should check them out. Other than learning how to become a writer, a couple of things you might wanna brush up on is just read up on some common sales and marketing best practices. And when you are ready to start taking on clients, make sure you're spending the time and asking them the questions to get a full understanding of their business and their industry. If you can combine all that, you're probably ready to become an email copywriter. From a cost perspective, for a single email of about 250 words, I see prices range from the low end of $5 where I started to $100 per email where I am now. Where you price your services is gonna depend on where you are based on your experience, where you are in your freelance career, where you are with how much money you need to be bringing in. But personally, I always recommend starting at $5 till you rack up some reviews and then you can raise your prices. So the cool thing with copywriting is when you get really, really good and you can sell on value, the time it takes to make $1,000 in a month doesn't really take that long at all. Take me for example, last month I made just over $3,000 and I only worked a couple hours per week. Now, don't get your hopes up of starting like this right off the bat. It takes time to build yourself up to that point, but it's totally possible. For newbies, it could take you anywhere from 10 to 50 hours plus, depending on what you're charging for a single email. And the fifth high income skill on this list is B2B lead generation. So with B2B lead generation, what you would be doing is working with companies that need to build a list, a list of potential clients that they might want to sell to. With that list, they usually want the company, contacts at that company, those contacts, email address, as well as a direct phone number so their sales team can reach out to them. When it comes to B2B lead generation, the requirements and barrier to entry are pretty low. The biggest thing you need is time. If you have the time to scrape the internet and fill out these spreadsheets with this type of contact information, you can probably offer this type of a service. From a cost perspective, I think it's probably pretty reasonable to charge like $20 per 100 leads you provide. So at that price point, unless my math is wrong, to make $1,000 in a month, you're probably gonna be working around 50 hours. 
Number six, also near and dear to my heart is YouTube transcription. YouTube transcription is where you will transcribe a video, usually in English, into another language. So viewers from other countries can read the subtitles and follow along with the video, even if they don't speak the language the video was produced in. So the requirements for this is pretty simple. If you're transcribing English to any other language, you need to understand English and you need to speak another language that you're able to tr transcribe an English YouTube video into. Pretty reasonable cost point, I think, for this would be to charge around $20 per five minutes of YouTube video that you're gonna be transcribing. So assuming you can fill your calendar up with a ton of clients, it's only gonna take you about 10 hours to make $1,000. Number seven on this list is language tutoring. There are sites like Cambly out there where people are making a ton of money just having conversations with people who want to learn the language that they can speak. So if you can speak another language as well as English so you're able to communicate on these calls, you can make some money just tutoring people on how to speak another language in casual conversations. It's pretty awesome and I think it's a pretty lucrative skill on Fiverr. From a cost perspective, I think $20 per hour is pretty reasonable to charge. So to make $1,000 in a month tutoring a language, it's probably gonna take you about 50 hours of work. Number eight on this list is NFT design. Now, NFT design has become insanely popular lately. Fiverr has been talking about it in the news. There's news articles all over the place popping up about how lucrative the NFT space has become. So if you're someone with a knack for graphic design and you're kind of in tune with what's happening in the NFT space and can design in the style that people are looking for, you can make a ton of money. From a cost perspective, I'm seeing people charge around $100 for a single NFT design with just a handful of attributes. It's pretty lucrative. So if you're able to get an NFT design gig off the ground, the time it'll take you to make $1,000 at $100 per project is probably only like 10 hours, I'd imagine. Some of these designs are pretty basic and I don't imagine them costing that much to make. People are just really capitalizing on the hype surrounding NFTs. So if this is something that you think you can do and you wanna find a skill that can make you $1,000 per month on Fiverr, NFT design could be what the doctor ordered for you. Number nine is a skill that I don't see enough people trying to sell and it's cold calling. So cold calling is where you will offer yourself up as almost like a sales rep for hire. You'll pick up the phone, call prospects of a, a particular business and pitch them that business's products or services. Odds are your goal is gonna be to help that business that's hired you book meetings so that their sales team can close the deal. Now, if you wanna get into cold calling, there's a couple things you probably already need to be good at. So you need to have sales experience. I think that's a no brainer, but the good thing with sales is there's so many resources online. Anyone can learn how to become a good salesperson as long as you're willing to learn and put in the time to practice. It's also probably pretty essential that you know how to speak English, you have time to work in regular business hours, nine to five, and it would really help to get set up with some cold calling software to help make the whole process and, and management of this type of a gig a whole lot easier on yourself. From a cost perspective, I'd probably charge based on the day. Like if I was gonna sell cold calling services on Fiverr, I'd charge a flat rate and you'd get me for a whole day of calling and I'd probably set the rate at about $250 per day. So to make $1,000 in a month selling cold calling services on Fiverr, I think it's pretty reasonable to think that if you're charging $250 per day, you could probably turn that around in four days, assuming you're able to deliver on about 800 cold calls in that time. I think that's the point where customers would start to see a lot of value in your services. So yeah, four days of work, $1,000. And the last high income skill on this list that you can sell on Fiverr to make $1,000 a month is consulting. Consulting is basically where anyone who's built a really high level of experience or proficiency in an industry, job role, or, or skill set offers their time up to teach other people how to get good at what they're already good at, right? You're consulting with them, you're coaching them, and you're selling your time per hour. So the requirements required to get into consulting, aside from the obvious amount of time it takes to become an expert in a particular field, are pretty low. You could probably get away with using free tools like Zoom 
or Google Hangouts to do um, you know, video meetings with, with your clients. From a cost perspective, I think it's pretty fair across the board to charge around $100 per hour. So to make $1,000 as a consultant selling your services on Fiverr, assuming you can fill your calendar, should only take you about 10 hours. All right, so these are 10 high income skills you can offer to help you make $1,000 or more per month on Fiverr. What do you think? Are you gonna give any of these a shot? If you are, leave a comment below. Happy to answer any questions you have. And for those of you who've just found the channel, I hope this video was helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and until next time, cheers.